The meeting of the Van Buren County Corp Court will now come to order. We're going to cover a few housekeeping uh, things before we get started into the, uh, the actual meeting. First of all, it's nice to see a full house. It's nice to see a community engaged. Thank you all for being here this evening. Uh, we do have a few rules that we're going to, to abide by this evening. First of all, we have uh, a lot of fire chiefs here, and I don't think they would really appreciate it if we didn't keep open our, our exits to our, our doors. So let's keep our aisles clear and uh, make sure we have safe passage out of here should that be necessary. We certainly hope it isn't, but we always prepare. Also, please silence your cell phones. Um, we have a long meeting ahead of us, so it is imperative that we abide by these rules to keep everything functioning as fluidly and as productively as possible. First of all, we will not tolerate disrespect toward each other. Uh, there should be no confrontation uh, between or arguing among any member of the crowd. Uh, you can say anything you want at the appropriate time to the quorum court. You can make your voice heard. Uh, we just can't disrupt uh, the proceedings by arguing with each other in the crowd. We have an officer here who will happily escort you out should that occur. Uh, time limit. Everyone will have two minutes to address the court that wishes to do so. I would ask that for uh, time purposes that you try to refrain from being redundant in what's being addressed to the court. If somebody else has already stated pretty plainly what you wish to state, then uh, really choose whether you need to, uh, to go back over that. Uh, that being said, thanks again for being here. I do believe that the government that governs the best is the government closest to the people. That's where we are tonight. Uh, everyone's here to discuss a tax that is going to be assessed to everyone for the good of everyone. And meetings such as this are exactly what our founding fathers envisioned when they wrote our Constitution and, and created these meetings in this way. Roll call. Oh. Here. Here. Sarah. Here. Phillips. Here. Lynn. Yes. Fred. Here. 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 You had emailed to you copies of the minutes from the special meeting. Uh, do I hear a motion to approve those? I'm going to approve them. Okay. Second. Second. <laughs> Give a motion and second to approve the minutes for the meeting. All in favor of approving those minutes, signify by saying aye. Or any, any discussion first? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Also. So that brings us up to new business. Uh, Justice Holt, will you read your ordinance, please? Yes. Yeah. This is a lengthy ordinance. So if anybody needs to leave the room for any reason, please do so. <laughs> An ordinance calling and setting a date for a special election on the questions of the levy of general local sales and use tax at the aggregate rate of 1%. The insurance by the county of sales and use tax refunding bonds and the insurance by the county of sales and use tax capital improvement bonds for various purposes, leveling general local sales and use tax for the purpose described herein, prescribing other matters pertaining thereto and declaring an emergency. For as Amendment 62 to the Constitution of the State of Arkansas, also Amendment 62, and Title 14, Chapter 164, Subchapter 3, or the Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated the Local Government Bond Act, Authorize the insurance of a capital improvement bonds by counties which bonds may be secured by the pledge of all the receipts of the special countywide sales and use tax prescribed by the Local Government Bond Act. And whereas pursuant to Amendment 62 in the Local Government Bond Act, Van Buren County, Arkansas, the county, has previously issued its 15,200,000 sales and use tax capital improvement bonds Van Buren County Memorial Medical Center Project, Series 2010A, Taxable Direct Payment Bill, America Bonds, of which 2,390,000 in the principal amount currently remains outstanding, the prior bonds. And whereas the prior bonds are secured by and payable from the receipts of 1% special countywide sales and use tax previously levied under the authority of the Local Government Board Act, the prior tax, and whereas 
the Van Buren County Quorum Court has determined that additional revenues are needed to finance critical county operation expenses and capital <coughs> improvement needs, and that such revenues can be attained by restructuring the county's existing indebtedness secured by sales and use tax receipts through the refunding, uh, re refunding and uh, re redemption of the prior bonds, the abolishment of the prior tax and the levy of the replacement sales and use tax described below, and whereas Title 26, Chapter 74, Subchapter 2 of the Arkansas Code of 1987 annotated the County Sales and Use Tax Act authorizes the levy of countywide sales and use tax in increase of one-eighth of one percent, 0 0.125, and whereas Amendment 62 and the County Sales and Use Tax authorizes insurance of bonds by counties to finance capital improvements which bonds may be secured by the pledge of all or a portion of the receipts of the countywide sales and use tax authorized by the County Sales and Use Tax Act. And whereas, if approved by the electors of the county, the county has determined, small i, to levy a one quarter of one percent, that's 0 0.25, general countywide sales and use tax. Under the authority of the County Sales and Use Tax Act, the 0 0.25 Medical Center Sales and Use Tax. For the purpose of funding operation and maintenance expenses and capital improvements at Ozark Health Medical Center, the medical center, which tax may also be pledged to secure the payment of bonds issued to finance and refinance capital improvements at the medical center, small to I's, to issue its sales and use tax refunding bonds in the principal amount not to exceed $2 million, the medical center refunding bonds. For the purpose of refinancing the indebtedness represented by prior bonds and small three I's to issue its sales and use tax improvement bonds in principal amount not to exceed five million the medical center improvement bonds for the purpose of financing various capital improvements at the medical center and whereas upon the approval by the electors of the county of both the questions authorizing the levy of 0 0.25 percent uh, medical uh, center sales and use tax in the insurance of the refunding bonds or the redemption of the prior bonds which receipt, with receipts of the prior tax, the prior tax will terminate simultaneously with the levy of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax. And whereas, if approved by the electors of the county, the county has also determined to levy a one quarter of 1%, 0.25%, general countywide sales and use tax under the authority of the County Sales and Use Tax Act, the 0.25% public safety library sales and use tax for the purpose of providing the public safety services and operations in the county, including but not limited to 911 services, emergency management services, law enforcement and jail operations, and library maintenance and operations, which may tax also be pledged to secure the payment of bonds issued to finance and refinance any needed county capital improvements if approved by the voters. And whereas, if approved by the electors of the county, the county has also determined to levy a one-half of 1 percent, 0 0.050, general county-wide sales and use tax under the authority of the county sales and use tax, the 0.50 percent fire and rescue sale and use tax, for the purpose of providing for operations, personal expenses, and capital expenditures of the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and of qualifying volunteer fire departments as defined in Section 9 hereof which tax may also be pledged to secure the payment of bonds issued to finance and refinance any needed county capital improvements if approved by the voters. And whereas, if approved by the electors of the county, the county has also determined it issues its sales and use tax capital improvement bonds in the principal amount not to exceed two million, the library project bonds, for the purpose of acquiring the facility currently being leased by the county for the purpose of housing the Van Buren County Public Library and whereas the levy of the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax and the 0.50 uh, fire and rescue sales and the use tax shall cease as of December 31, 2051. And whereas the purpose of this ordinance is to call a special election on the levy of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax, the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax, and the 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax, and the insurance of the medical center refunding bonds, the medical center improvement bonds, and the library project bonds, co collectively the bonds, by the county and for related purposes. Now therefore, 
to be it ordained by the Quorum Court of Bamberg County, Arkansas. Section 1A. That under the authority of the county sale and use tax and subject to approval by the electors of the county of question 1 and question 2, set forth in section 4 below, there are hereby levied small 1, I, excuse me, a sales tax at the rate of one quarter of 1%, 0.25%, on the gross receipts from the sale at retail within the county of all items, services which are subject to taxation on the Arkansas Gross Receipts Act of 1941 as amended Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated 26-52-101 at SEC and small 2 I's and excise or use tax at the rate of one quarter of 1%, 0.25% on the storage, use, distribution, and other compensation within the county of tangible personal property or tactical services subject to taxation under the Arkansas Compensating Tax Act of 1949 as amended, Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated 26-53-101, etc. On the sale price of the property or in case or leases on rentals on the lease of a rental price collectively, the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax, the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax shall be levied and the net collections received after deduction of the administrative charges of the state of Arkansas and required rebates shall be utilized to ex extent required for the payment of debt services on those medical center refunding bonds and the medical center improvement bonds approved by the voters. Net collections remaining after the payment of such debt service may be used only for the purpose of funding operation and maintenance and capital improvements at the Ozark Health Medical Center. The 0.25% medical sales and use tax shall be levied and collected only on the gross receipts gross proceeds or sales price in the maximum amount allowed from time to time under Arkansas law subject to rebates and limitation as required for certain single transactions as from time to time required under Arkansas law. The levy and collection of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax shall commence on and of such a date as provided in the county sales and use tax act. Any collections of the prior tax received at the insurance of the refunding bonds described in question two or any other excess collections of the prior tax shall be used to fund operation and maintenance and capital improvements at Ozark Health Medical Center. B. That under the authority of the County Sales and Use Tax Act and subject to approval by the electors of the county of question four set forth in section four below, there are hereby levied, small i, a sales tax at the rate of one quarter of 1%, 0.25%, on the gross receipts from the sale at retail within the county of all items and services which are subject to taxation under the Arkansas Gross Receipts Acts of 1941, as amended, Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated 26-52-101, etc., and small two i's, an excise or use tax at the rate of one quarter of 1%, 0.25% on the storage, use, distribution, or other compensation within the county of tangible personal property or taxable services subject to taxation under the Arkansas Compensation Act, Tax Act of 1949, as amended, Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated 26-53-101, etc. On the sale price of the property, or in case of leases or rentals on the lease of rental price collectively, the 0.25% public safety and library sale and use tax. The 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax shall be levied and the net collections received after deduction of the administrative charges of the state of Arkansas and required rebates shall be utilized to the extent required for the payment of debt services of those library project bonds approved by the voters. Net collections remaining after the payment of such debt service may be used only for the purpose of funding public safety and library services and operations of the county, including but not limited to 911 services, emergency management services, law enforcement, and jail operations, and library maintenance and operations. The 0.25% <coughs> Safety and library sales use tax may also be placed to secure the payment of bonds issued to finance or refinance as needed for county capital improvements if approved by the voters. The 0.25% public safety and library sale and use tax shall be levied and collected only on the gross receipts, gross proceeds, or sale price 
and the maximum amount allowed from time to time under Arkansas law. Subject to rebates and limitation as required for certain single transactions as from time to time required under Arkansas law. The levy and collection on the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax <coughs> shall commence on and as of such a date as provided in the County Sales and Use Tax Act and shall terminate on December 31, 2051. C. That under the authority of the County Sales and Use Tax Act and subject to approval by the electors of the county of question 5 set forth in section 4 below, there are hereby levied small i a sales tax at the rate of one half of 1%, 0.5% on the gross receipts from the sale at retail within the county of all items and services which are subject to taxation under the Arkansas Gross Receipts Act of 1941, as amended Arkansas Code of 1987, annotated 26-52-101 at SEC, and small 2i, an excess or use tax at the rate of one half of 1%, 0.50% on the storage use distribution and other compensation within the county of tangible personal property or taxable services subject to taxation under the Arkansas Compensating Tax Act of 1949 as amended Arkansas Code of 1987 annotated 26-101 <coughs> on the sale price of the property or in the case of lease or rentals on the lease or rental price collectively the 0 0.50 five, uh, fire and rescue sales and use tax the 0.50% fire and rescue sale and use tax shall be levied and the net collections received after deduction of the administrative charges of the state of Arkansas and required rebates shall be utilized to the extent required for the payment of debt service of the, on those library project bonds approved by the voters. Net collections remaining after the payment of such debt service may be used only for purposes of funding operations, personal expenses, personnel expenses, and capital expenditures of the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and of qualifying volunteer fire departments as defined in Section 9 hereof in the county. The 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax may also be pledged to secure the payment of bonds issued to finance and refinance any needed county improvements if approved by the voters. The 0.50% fire and rescue sales, tax, sales and use tax shall be levied and collected only on the gross receipts gross proceeds, or sales price in the maximum amount allowed from time to time under Arkansas law subject to rebates and limitation as required for certain single transactions as from time to time required under Arkansas law. The levy and collection of the 0.50% fire and rescue sale and use tax shall commence on and as of such a date provided in the County Sales and Use Tax Act and shall terminate on December 31st, 2051. Section 2. If approved by the electors of the county, the aforementioned medical center refunding bonds, medical center improvement bonds, and library project bonds, collectively the bonds, may be issued to one or more series from time to time in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed respectively principal amounts approved by the county's electors. Any medical center refunding bonds, medical center improvement bonds so issued shall be secured by pledge of and a lien of all receipts of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax as authorized by Amendment 62 in the Local Government Bond Act. Any library project bond so issued shall be secured by pledge of and a lien upon all the receipts of the project of the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax and the 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax as authorized by Amendment 62 and the Local Government Bond Act. Section 3 that there be, and there is hereby called, a special election to be held on Tuesday, March the 3rd, 2020, at which election there shall be su uh, submitted to the electors of the county the questions of the levy of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax, and the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax, and the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax, and the assurance of the bonds. Section 4 that the questions shall be placed on the ballot for the special election in substantially the following forms. <clears throat> special election on county sales and use tax levies and bond insurance. Upon approval of question one and question two, set forth below, upon the assurance of the medical center refunding uh, bonds de defined in question one, or the redemption of the prior bonds defined in question two, the county's existing levy of a 1% one, 1 sale and use tax, the prior tax, Securing the prior bonds shall cease and, and such tax will be replaced 
by the one quarter and one percent, zero point twenty five percent medical center sales and use tax defined in question one. If approved, such as zero point twenty five percent medical center and use tax, the twenty five percent public safety and library sales and use tax defined in question four, and the zero point five zero percent fire and risk <coughs> sales and use tax defined in question five shall commence on and of such a date as provided in the Arkansas law. Unless question one and question two set forth or are approved, the 0.25 medical center and use tax will be levied and the prior tax will remain in place until payment in full of the prior bond. Question one. There is submitted to the qualified electors of the Van Buren County, Arkansas. The question of the levy of a one quarter of 1%, 0.25% sales and use tax the 0.25% uh, medical center and use tax under the authority of Title 26, Chapter 74, Subchapter 2 of the Arkansas Code of 1987 annotated the County Sales and Use Tax Act, the net collections of which will be utilized to the extent needed for the payment and debt services of the medical center refunding bonds defined in Question 2 and the medical center improvement bonds defined in Question 3, if approved by the electors and issued by the county and any remaining net collection shall be distributed only to the county and shall be utilized solely for the payment of costs and expenses associated with the operation and maintenance and capital improvements of the Ozark Health Medical Center. The level and collection of the 0.25 Medical Center sales and use tax shall commence on and of such date as provided by Arkansas law. Vote on the question by placing an X in one of the squares following the question either for or against. For. The adoption of one quarter of 1%, 25% medical center sales and use tax within the Van Buren County, Arkansas. The net collections of such tax to be distributed only to county and used only for the purposes related to Ozark Chemical uh, Health Medical Center described above. Against the adoption of one quarter of 1%, 0.25% medical uh, center sales and use tax Within the Van Buren County, Arkansas, the net collections of such tax to be distributed only to the county and used for only for the purposes related to Ozark Health Medical Center described above. Question two. There is submitted to the qualified electors of Van Buren County, Arkansas, the question of the insurance of refunding bonds in the principal amount not to exceed two million dollars, the medical center refunding bonds pursuant to the county sales and use tax act for purpose of refunding uh, the county's outstanding sales and use tax capital approval bonds. Van Buren County uh, Memorial Medical Center Project, <coughs> Series 2010A, Taxable Direct Payment Built America Bonds, the prior bonds. If the entrance of the medical center refunding bonds and the levy of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax described in question one are approved, the medical center refunding bonds shall be secured by a pledge of and lean upon the receipts of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax. Vote on the question by placing an X in one of the squares following the question. <coughs> either for or against. For the intent of medical center refunding bond in the principal amount not to exceed $2 million. Against the insurance of medical center refunding bonds in the principal amount not to exceed $2 million. Question three. There is submitted to the qualified electors of Van Buren County, Arkansas. The question of the insurance of capital improvement bonds in principal amount not to exceed $5 million. The medical center improvement bonds pursuant to the county sales and use tax act as defined in question one, for the purpose of refinancing all or a portion of the cost of requiring renovating, construction, and equipping medical center improvements. If the insurance of the medical center improvement bonds and the levy of 0.25% medical center sales and use tax described in question one are approved, the medical center improvement bonds shall be secured by a pledge of and lien upon of the receipts of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax. Vote on the question by placing an X in one of the squares following the question either for or against. For the insurance of medical center improvement bonds in their principal amount not to exceed five million, against the <coughs> insurance of medical center improvement bonds in their principal amount not to exceed five million. Question four. There is submitted to the qualified electors of Van Buren County, Arkansas, the question of the levy of a one quarter of one percent, zero point twenty five percent sales and use tax. The 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax under the authority of the County Sales and Use Tax Act, as defined in question one. The net collections which will be utilized to extent needed for the payment of debt service on the library project bonds, defined in question six. If approved by the electors and issued by the county, 
and, and remaining that collection shall be distributed <coughs> only to the county and shall be utilized <coughs> solely for the purpose of funding public safety and library services and operations in the county, including but not limited to 911 services, emergency management services, law enforcement, and jail operations, and library maintenance and operations. The levy and collection of the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax shall commence on and of a date as provided by Arkansas law, saw law and shall terminate on December 31, 2051. The vote on the question by placing an X in this one of the squares following the question either for or against. For the adoption of a one quarter of 1% 0.25 public safety and library sales and use tax within Banbury County, Arkansas, the net collections of such tax to be distributed only to county and used for the purposes prescribed above. Against the adoption of one quarter of 1%, 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax within Van Buren County, Arkansas, the net collections of such tax to be distributed only to county and used for the first as described above. Question five. There is submitted to the qualified electors of Van Buren County, Arkansas. The question of the levy of one half of 1%, 0.50% sales and use tax, the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax, under the authority of the county sales and use tax, as defined in question one, the net collections of which will be utilized to the extent needed for the payment of debt services on the library project bonds defined in question six. If approved by the electors and initiated by the county, and any remaining net collections shall be distributed only to the county, shall be utilized solely for the purpose of funding operations, personal personnel expenses, and capital expenditures of the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and a qualifying volunteer <coughs> fire departments in county. The levy and collection of the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax shall commence on and such a date as approved by Arkansas law and shall terminate on December 31st, 2051. Vote on the question by placing an X in the square of following questions, either for or against. For the adoption of a one half of 1%, 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax within Bamberry County, Arkansas and net collections of such tax to be distributed only to the county and used only for purposes described above. <coughs> Against the adoption of one half of 1%, 0.50% fire rescue sales and use tax within Barron County, Arkansas, the net collections of such tax to be distributed only to the county and used only for the purposes described above. Question six. There is submitted to qualified electors of Van Buren County, Arkansas, the question of the of capital improvement bonds in principal amount not to exceed two million, the library project bonds pursuant to the County Sales and Use Tax Act as defined in question one, for the purpose of financing all or a portion of the cost of acquiring the facility currently being leased by the county and for the purpose of housing the Van Buren County Public Library. If the insurance of the library project bonds and levy of either 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax Described in question four, or the 0 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax described in question five, or approved, the library project bond shall be secured by a pledge of and lean upon the receipts of the sales and use taxes which are approved. Vote on the question by placing an X in one of the squares following the question either for or against. For the insurance of the library bond project in principle amount not to exceed two million, against the insurance of library project bonds in the amount of not to exceed two million. Section five that the election shall be held and conducted and the vote canvassed and the results declared under the law in the manner now provided for Arkansas County elections, unless otherwise provided in the County Sales and Use Tax Act, and only qualified voters of the county shall have the right to vote at the election. Section 6, that a copy of this ordinance shall be given to the Van Buren County Board of Election Commissioners at least 70 days prior to the date of the special election so that the necessary election officials and supplies may be provided. A certified copy of this ordinance shall be provided to the Director of the Department of Finance and Administration and then to the Treasurer of the State of Arkansas as soon as practical. Section 7. That the results of the special election shall be uh, proclaimed of the county judge and the proclamation shall be published at one time in the newspaper or general circulation within the county. The proclamation shall advise that the results of proclaimed uh, shall be uh, conclusive unless attacked in the circuit court of Van Buren County within 30 days after the date of publication of the proclamation. Section 8, that the county judge and the county clerk for and on behalf of the county be and they are hereby authorized and directed to do any and all things necessary to call and hold the special election as herein provided and small i 
if the levy of the 0.25% medical center sales and use tax and the shifts of the medical center refunding bonds are approved by electors to cause 0.25% medical center sales and use tax to be collected in accordance with the County Sales and Use Tax Act, small two I's, if the levy of the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax is approved by the electors to cause the 0.25% public safety and library sales and use tax be collected in accordance with the County Sales and Use Tax Act, small three I's. If the levy of the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax is approved by the electors to cause the 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax to be collected in accordance with the County Sales and Use Tax Act, small four to perform all acts of whatever necessary to carry out the authority conferred by this ordinance. Section 9. That, if approved by the voters and not otherwise utilized for the payment of debt services on bonds, the 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax shall be distributed by the county on a quarterly basis to the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and to the various volunteer fire departments located within the county. Distribution of the avail of available receipts of the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax shall be made each quarter in equal portions to the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and to all qualifying volunteer fire departments within the meaning of the following sentence. A qualifying bar, uh, volunteer fire department shall be volunteer fire department with the county, which is small i, certified as in compliance with the provisions of Act 833 of 1991 as amended of the Acts of the General Assembly, General Assembly of the State of Arkansas, small two eyes, audited by a certified public accountant on an annual basis, which audit shall be included, a reconciliation that Act 833 monies and monies derived from the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax receipts and received by the department during the time being audited were expended for purposes permitted by Act 833, as provided in the following sentence with respect to the receipts of the 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax, respectively, and small three I's, deemed to have passed the most recent readiness inspection, if any, conducted by the Van Buren County Office of Mercy Management or its de designated representative. Receipts of the 0 0.50 fire and rescue sales and use tax transferred by the county to the Van Buren County Rescue Squad and to a volunteer fire department may be used for operating expenses, personnel expenses, capital expenditures directly related to firefighting and rescue services. A volunteer fire department uh, not meeting the requirements of a qualified volunteer fire department as set forth above will not be eligible to receive any portion of the receipt of the 0.50% fire and rescue sales and use tax until such full quarter as the department shall be deemed to satisfy all of such requirements and any transfers which the department would have received in prior quarters had it been deemed a qualifying volunteer fire department are forfeited. It is the intent of the county that any monies distributed to qualifying volunteer fire departments in accordance with this section 9 be utilized as supplementary funding and is not intended that existing funding sources including assessments and subscription fees be discontinued or reduced as a result of receipt of monies under this section 9. Section 10. That the county considers this ordinance to be its declaration of official intent to issue the medical center improvement bonds and the library bonds and to make reimbursement to the county with a portion of the proceeds therefore for all original expenditures incurred by the county or on its behalf in acquiring construction or equipment and said projects between the date 60 days prior to the date of this ordinance and the date a series of such bonds is issued plus a DMS amount and preliminary expenditures as such terms are defined in section 1 .150-2, small f, of the Federal Income Tax Regulations. Section 11, that Kutak Rock LLP is hereby engaged as bond counsel and Cruz and Associates Incorporated is hereby engaged as underwriter with respect to the insurance of the bonds. The fees and expenses of the bond counsel and the underwriter shall be the cost of insurance of the bonds to be paid with bond proceeds. Section 12, that the provisions of this ordinance are hereby declared to be separable, and if any provision shall for any reason be held illegal or invalid, such holding shall not affect the validity of the remainder of this ordinance. <coughs> Section 13. That all ordinances and parts thereof in conflict with, with uh, herewith are hereby replaced to the extent of such conflict. Section 14. That is hereby asserted and declared there is a crucial need to establish a source of funds to finance vital capital improvements 
services and operations and to promote and protect the health, safety, and welfare of the county and its inhabitants. It is therefore declared that an emergency exists and this ordinance being necessary for the immediate preservation of public peace, health, and safety shall be enforced and take effect immediately upon this passage. I move that we pass this. It's been moved and second that we adopt this ordinance. We'll open for discussion. Um, I'd like to call first, uh, I'd like to call Daniel Allen and Cheryl Schluterman with the Raymond James Company. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. So, just want me to jump into it? Just jump right into it. So, we, were, we met with the judge a few weeks ago and we were asked to look at uh, opportunities to refinance the existing debt that White River Development District has related to the library. Um, we have had conversations with investors. Um, we've got an investor that is willing to do that. Um, I would say the one constraint would be the county would need to make their lease payment January 2nd. Um, part of that would be because the, there is an existing requirement under those bonds, it would be a default. Um, any, I would say there are very few lenders that are going to be able to make that loan after there's been a default. So. Um, that's kind of where we stand. We've got if the county were able to make the lease payment, and therefore the bond payments got made. There, are, there is a lender that is willing to do extend that loan out to probably 15, 16 years, get the payments down uh, to a level that's a little bit more affordable. But that's kind of what we were asked to look at, and the results are. Are there any questions for that? Um, I just want to kind to <coughs> kind of explain it a little bit more, if, mm -hmm. if I can, to. Uh, kind of the conversations. I know that there's been a lot of conversation on options to um, save the library, essentially. And one of them, which was a good option, would be to refinance and to get the bond payment that is due in at a level, ideally, that could be paid in the millage along with operating. Um, my piece is going to be that this is a county building and it's a payment that, that we're responsible to make. But we have so much in front of us. We just all went through this budget process. There's so many things on the table. And um, if we have to do what we have to do to survive. So maybe the library is not in the tax and we refinance and we get by with that way. The issue is that the payment is due the first operating day of the year. and we just don't have time. And if the library has to make a whole payment, it will not stay open. And I just want to say that of the people that have reached out to me and of my own personal feelings, I do not think that that is what is best for Van Buren County. I feel as a county, it's our responsibility to pay a debt that we owe. And with all the discussions of being responsible and, and good stewards of our money to save a quarter of a million dollars almost and, and there's different ways to look at it as if we pay it off and you could go from 500 to 700 and we don't know the real interest rate and all those things so I, but to be able to save that is huge you think about the budget process that we just went through and what we would have given for 500 to 700 thousand <coughs> And so as a citizen, as a business person, and I appreciate all that Daniel did. He was very informative and I feel like we really got to explore that option and he's very forthright in the fact that we got to make that payment because we could have kept pursuing this a little <coughs> and realized too late. And so, you know, where I stand with that information for sure. And, and, and so even if we tried to make an interest only payment to first service, even if first service said, Hey, we'll let you do this. That's good. That's, that's fine. It's my understanding that potential investors, regardless of what deals we can make would def consider that a default because we did not do exactly what was in that contract and we will not be I guess an appealing, it will be hard to get anyone else to look yeah, at Yes, and so from a practical matter, I will defer to Gordon, or and Gordon, correct me if I'm wrong, the, the issue is that there is, a, there is a, bonding, there's a bond in place, and there's not enough time to 
truly refinance that in prior to the due date on the, the first operating day of the year. So, you know, I, I wish I could stand here and say, yeah, it's it's just a it's a technical issue. But for a lender to to lend you two million dollars or round numbers, and you've just missed a payment, that's going to be very difficult for them to go to their to their board and say, yeah, well, with the wing and nod, yeah, this was an oversight. It still occurred. So it that's um, I think they're they're it's doable potentially, but it the likelihood of getting it done at what we would think of fair rates and something that's agreeable and would make it work. I think the offer, the likelihood is very, very low. Because even with that 700, we were basing it on an okay interest rate, so it could be more than that. Yeah, and, and I'm saying that's right. There's no if that once that payment is missed, the the likelihood is going to be very difficult to get something that are terms that make sense. So, uh, granted, I would love to, to do the refinancing, uh, but I'll stand here before you and say, you know. Given the facts that we we know, it's probably in your best interest to include the library and the sales tax, um, if that's if that's what the the court and court chooses to do. So. I I personally thank you for all your work, the work you did. This kind of just happened during the month of December, and we knew we were at the eleventh hour when we started exploring this option, and we thought this would be we owed it to the county to explore all options not just to take one that we thought might be good enough but if there was another option available we should see we should give it our diligence to make sure we're doing absolutely what's best for the county uh, it was explored we were completely open and transparent with the public as we went through this exploration and uh you've you've heard it from the source so thank you all very much for being here tonight absolutely i have one question yes sir you said that we would have to make that payment by, and what, how much would that payment? So I believe the, the current payment is due on the first business day of the right. year. Uh, it's about $330,000. It's actually not with them. I mean, no, it's, yeah, you know, yeah, we're not in any way a part of it, but that's the contractual agreement or the, the bond documents and your lease payment. Right. That, um, so what makes it very difficult for a lender, and this was done originally as well, is that they have no collateral. Their only, their only repayment source is the word of the quorum court to make the payment. So if a payment was missed or modified, it's just very difficult for them to say, to go to their board and their, their investor and say, well, if we, and I'm not saying in any way that you guys aren't going to honor your word. It's just that's where the, when a regulator and everybody else show up, we've got to be able to defend the, um, the loan. So, how many how many years are we talking? If we possibly could get the money and that would happen, what kind of years would are you talking about? And what kind of rents are we talking about? <coughs> so we've got a and everything everything's preliminary. So nothing is, is signed. Nothing. Uh, right. We've gotten preliminary indications of maybe want to do 15, 16 years uh, at approximately between three and three and a half. Um, all that would be contingent on you know everything working out. So if you were able to make the payment, every life continues as normal. We go into the first of the year. We then have really until next January right. to get it refinanced um, and closed. So that way, then the payments are then smoothed back out. So really, all we're doing is taking those payments from when tax collections were greater, um, and as those collections have come down, we would then stretch the payment out. So it's like going from a 15-year mortgage to a 30-year mortgage. Mm -hmm. um, so. And your and the amount of interest in doing that. You oh, you're going to pay more interest. Oh, well, I know that, but how much? So, I don't have the number off the top of my head. Um, so you said about three and a half. Yeah, but so your rate right now is at 495, but but you're paying it off in the next few years. So now you go from a 495 to a three and a quarter. Let's call it three and a quarter. But you're going to be paying it off over 15 years. So it's going to cost you money, but it's not a, I think of it more as it's a cash flow decision. Uh, yeah, the rate's lower, but you're going to cost you more, but you're not going to have to. It's less of a budget impact. Um, so. you still got to have the dollars. Right. So. Any other questions for these people? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Brian, do you have some people you want to call? Well, I mean, I don't know if now's the time to get in. I think there's some cheese and stuff that we'd like to 
I don't know if we need to get into those issues right this second, or it's up to you. But this is your. I, 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 um, again, I don't like taxes. I don't want taxes. I don't want an increase of taxes at all. But after being a JP for almost a year now, I understand a little bit more of the difficulty of the budget process and how tight our budget is and, and things we've gone through just to make it work and, and uh, make things happen in the county. And uh, I'm, I'm very thankful to, to Sheriff Lucas and, and to Judge James, uh, how they've worked with their budget and cut so much out of their budget to help us meet the budget crisis. And, um, but I believe that uh, this, is, um, this is really too long of a, of a time, the, I think it said on the second page, uh, the not, uh, 1951, 30 year note. And so I think that's a too big of a, a chunk, too big a long, a long span. And so um, I think we need to put it in more of a bite size nugget. I think it'd be more uh, easier for the county to, uh, to absorb and, and to understand about that. And I'd like to cut it in a third, I'd like to say 10 years, but because it, it would not work on an election cycle, we need to go to a four-year cycle. So I, I would like to move that we amend the uh, number on number the second page there, number two at the bottom, where it says 1951, and we amend that, that to, to December uh, 2051. That we amend that to, to a 12-year uh, increase of taxes instead of a 30-year increase of the taxes. And uh, that way it can be voted on again by the people after that. And, uh, and I would hope that in that 12 years that we can show the people of the county that we are trying our best to work with the monies that we have in our county and we want to use them wisely, and that's what we're doing. And so I think that would be a better option. So therefore, I move that we amend it uh, to 12 years. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second on the floor to amend the ordinance to take it from a 30-year uh, life span down to a 12-year uh, discussion on the amendment. Okay, I have a question. As, are we gonna? Can we go? Through, can we amend this more than once? So I feel like we've got different issues here. We've got, yeah, you know, the library. We've got. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got, so do we need to do it all at once, all the amendments, or can we amend several times? How do we? You can either choose to do this one because we have an amendment on the floor, mm -hmm. or we can, he could pull this amendment at this time and bring it back up. I, I, I think we might have other amendments or things to discuss. You can't do more than one amendment? <laughs> at one yeah. time. Okay. So if we pass. At one time, we could still okay. do this one until we do another amendment. You can vote on this one right, right. now and then do her amendment. Yes, okay. you can do as many amendments, but okay, you got to so finish this one when you got to. Gotcha. So we we'll just keep going. Okay, yes. multiple amendments. Okay. That, okay. Um, and let me understand because, Virgil, I'm with you. Thirty years is a long time, and um, I'm with you on kind of prove it to us. Prove it that you're going to be good stewards. My gut would be 10 years, but I think what you're saying is at 12, it falls in a general election. Right. We don't have a special election. It costs us more money for our county if we have it on, on for your increments. And I agree with the 12 years. Um, I have reached out to several of my constituents, and they expressed to me wholeheartedly that they did not want to put this tax on their grandchildren. Um, I feel like you know, 12 years is a good start. Show us what we can do. Show the community what we can do with that 12 years, and then revisit it later mm -hmm. if there's still a need. Um, over. Would you care to come to the microphone, please? And uh, he's going to discuss with us how far we are into this process. Uh, how we only have a few hours left, literally until we hit our deadline to be able to put this on the ballot and to what extent we can keep amending the time or any other amendments. Sure. Dale, before we, could you get the volume up just a little bit? I'm struggling. Right now. We, we don't have a sound system to be able to project into the building. Okay. We have a sound system to be able to record for FOIA purposes. And, and I apologize, we don't have the means to project. Okay. I'll try yeah. to speak up. You, you're welcome to come up here to a front seat. Um, depending on how you're amending this, if it's just kind of in concept, then I can come back and, and fix this. It appears at least five places that I just flipped through real fast and saw, not just right. that one spot. Um, I think we originally chose that date 
uh, thinking that if, if any of these bonds were issued, they were going to take up uh, the majority of the receipts for two, three, four years, depending on how many of the taxes were passed, and then to leave some period of time for those taxes to benefit all these other uses. So, you know, you just keep that in mind as you're making these amendments. That, but uh, the judge is exactly right. I think as of today, we have maybe 74 days, and you got to get 70, and you got a weekend coming. So tonight's kind of the the night to get it passed. And uh, as long as the amendments are kind of simple and we can mark them and do them, that's that's one thing. Kind of changing the way the whole thing flows, I wouldn't be very confident that we got it <laughs> worded right when you voted on it. So it you saw how complicated this ordinance is and. Uh, I want to give some thought to any kind of real complicated amendments. Would that be a comp would you consider? This one is not, no. Okay. Thank you.